so much to consider. We aren't there yet, the triumphal entry, betrayal, abandonment, arrest, trial and desertion, crucifixion, death, those last words, and burial. Do we even have the energy to think on these things with what we've had, with what we have yet to deal with? Anniversary of a pandemic, a year of lament, separation anxiety, vaccine appointments, new patterns of work for the fortunate ones who have work. It's been a year that feels like a decade and a new century that has grown old before its time. Gun violence and wars disfigured the past and have evolved in terrifying ways. Killing is both intensely personal and delivered with impersonal dispatch by legislation, drone, byproduct of powering smartphones and accessorizing the wealthy. And now a worldwide pandemic and a dying earth whose rich resources have been unleashed against the robust balance of its creation. Jesus lived for the justice of others and died for love. He taught, forgave, healed, spoke truth. His disciples betrayed, abandoned, and deserted him. Not much seems to have changed for those who follow in the way of this prophet, in whatever tradition, or the earth created by his mother just makes our work not more desperate, rather more urgent, more necessary. Lent invites us to slow down, think deeply about our part in all of this. It invites us to renew our strength, rebuild our resources, deepen our connections with one another, look inward and outward with equal regard for our failings and the promise of the future we can build together. We are conscious, alive, each breath of every one of us, a part of the life of the world from the beginning of life through this very moment and beyond to the wonder of the next moment, unknown and ripe with infinite possibilities. Yes, so much to consider. As Lent continues, let the work continue as well. Grace and peace. Have a great weekend and see you in worship this Sunday.